Welcome back to the CNBC special, Your Money 2022. Time now to take some viewer questions. And here to help us answer these questions are Victoria Fernandez, Chief Market Strategist for Crossmark Global Investments, and Shanna Sissel, Chief Market Strategist for Strategic Wealth Partners. Good evening to you both ladies. First off, a question from Kevin in California. My question is on Boeing. Boeing being a duopoly, there's only two companies that make commercial planes, and that's Boeing and Airbus. Boeing at the height was in the mid 400s, and at the low, because of the 737 MAX, it was below 100. Now it trades at about $200 a share. Would you consider it a buy? Victoria, weak performance this year from Boeing. What say you? Yeah, it is, Sarah. And actually, no, we don't see it as a buy right now. We actually have a short position on Boeing. If you look year to date, it's flat. But for the last six months, Boeing's been down about 15 percent or so. So it's kind of on that downward trend. There's just so many concerns around this name. I understand it's a duopoly, but right now Boeing is on the losing side um, between themselves and Airbus. And I just think the uncertainty surrounding the name and how they're going to build back the customers that they have lost to Airbus is a concern to us. So even though it's down for the last six months, we would not consider it a buy at this point in time. Any disagreement from you, Shanna? No, not at all. Uh, in addition to everything uh, Victoria just said, you know, when you just think broadly about air travel, um, that is getting hit again with Omicron and then the threat of potentially requiring a vaccine mandate for domestic travel is not going to help. It's unlikely that business travel will come back uh, quickly. And again, as Victoria mentioned, they've done a lot of self-inflicted harm mm. with their customers uh, with the uh, 737 MAX. So for us, it's not something we're looking to do. We don't think that the airlines are going to be spending a whole lot of money anytime soon on new aircraft. So we wouldn't uh, consider it a buy either. All right. Two no's on Boeing. Next, let's go to Hayden in Oklahoma. I want to start off by saying thank you for this opportunity. My name is Hayden Tallman. I'm from Oklahoma. Uh, I've been invested in AMC since January. I just wanted to know your honest opinion on the stock and if a squeeze is still in play. Adam Aaron, the CEO of AMC, has stated retail owns nearly 90% of the free floats. TD Ameritrade is reporting a 40 and a quarter percent uh, short interest. Personally, I say that I am not selling until shorts cover. Uh, I'm wanting to know your honest opinion on the stock. Thank you, guys. Shanna? Uh, so, Hayden, I went and I looked, and I'm seeing short interest more around 17%. Uh, so, I don't know how um, up to date that 40% is. And short interest has declined precipitously over the last six months. Uh, so, there's not a lot of meaningful short interest left in AMC. And then, you know, if you look at the fundamentals of the stock, we have Omicron and having issues with getting people into the theaters. People are going out for that type of thing right now. I, I know they had some uh, good numbers with Spider-Man, but with uh, new vaccine uh, mandates in a lot of cities, uh, mm -hmm. they're restricting that. And then you also have the fact that it has a ton of debt on the balance sheet and not a lot of assets. It's a challenging in market. Streaming is uh, continuing to take the place direct to consumer, and they have limited bargaining power with the big mm -hmm. studios for these films. So for me, uh, I wouldn't be in this stock at this point. It's still well above its actual value if you look at the fundamentals. So if you have profit, I'd probably be taking profit here. Very quickly, Victoria, should Hayden hold it, AMC? Yeah, so unfortunately, Hayden, I agree with Shanna. Look, when we look at a stock, we want those fundamentals to be strong. We want a good business model, strong balance sheets, and growth potential, and I don't see that with AMC. 